Welcome friends, I am Talman. I welcome you all to my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. So today we will discuss the second part of Rosinko reaction that is application and mixing. Okay. So total four problem we will discuss, three I have already mentioned, four I will mention later on. So let's start. So before if you haven't seen the first part of Rosinko, I suggest you please go through that. And not only Rosinko, previously I have uploaded Clemenson and Wolf Wigner reduction, basic concept mechanism uh, and application. Please go through that those videos. I shall provide the links in the description box after that you come to this video. Because this video will provide some unique understanding, and that understanding will be highly beneficial for you if you have completed watching those videos. Uh, so that is my suggestion. Okay, so let's start. So since I, I have told Mosinko reaction application in example and conversion, then it is expected that there is a role of Mosinko. Otherwise, why I have made this video? Common sense. Now, the question we have to justify that is the chance. I suggest you please pause the video and try by yourself and evaluate that whether are you able to do this something. Okay, so let's start the thing. So, as you can see, let's take the example, this is 1, 2, 3. So, let's first try the first example. So, we have to convert and for this purpose, for this purpose, we know that three type of reaction very recently we have learned. That is Clemenson reduction, wolf krishna reduction and uh, Clemenson reduction, Wolfish reduction and Mozingo reaction. That's why I am suggesting, please read that uh, Wolfish and Clemenson first. Okay. So, Clemenson reduction. Clemenson, Wolf Krishna, and Mozingo. Three. You, this comparison, the knowledge of this uh, comparison will be uh, will be useful for this. Okay. Mosin. So let's let's try. So the first example. In the first example, so what is the condition of Clemenson? Okay. Zinc. Zinc amalgam. Concentrated ACL because it will be needed. Concentrated ACL, Wolf Krishna, hydrazine, hyd hydrazine hydrate, then step 1, step 2 is KOH or base, glycol, and heat. And Mozinko, nickel hydrogen, actually, Rani nickel. Okay. So this. Uh, it is, I guess it is visible. Okay, visible. Rani nickel. Actually, this part you should write that. Rani nickel. Okay. So, this is the main difference of this three reaction. Now, based on this knowledge, we will utilize further to solve this problem. So, first example. So, let's come, let's consider this is A, this is B, and this is C, method C. If we try Clemenson, so Clemenson means zinc amalgam concentrated ACL. ACL is the acidic, so epoxide will not be survived. See, in the product, epoxide is survived. So Clemenson not applicable. So A, option A, not. Let's see about option B. Means Kul Krishna, hydrazine, uh, hydrazine, hydrate, and this, KOH. But see, in alkali also, alkali, KOH. And very high temperature means this should be around, let me write it here, around 180 to 200 degrees centigrade. Very high temperature. Will it be survived? No, this epoxide. So, if we check the acid mediated epoxide opening, epoxide opening will be happening for this, this side means. So, if I write it, acid mediated epoxide opening, this is protonated means. It will open at this corner. Fine. So, if not acid, if it is alkali, then what will happen? This alkali will come and attack less inner side. It will open. So, ultimately, 
maybe this group will be reduced true but epoxide will not survive it means logically it will be reduced let's ask that no problem but this will not be survived this epoxide will react around them not all so not all species but even some case also this is reduced but the epoxide will be protruded and open from that side so that is the problem but so if we think about this mozinko reaction okay so mozinko reaction means let me write the condition only once after that i shall not write the condition is first that is ethane thiol ethane thiol or or we can say this 1 to di thiol okay then in along with that zinc chloride acting as a lewis acid lewis acid first step 1 step 2 is nickel hydrogen means rani nickel rani i have explained this briefly in the first part of this that is a basic concept and in future i shall make a dedicated video on rani nickel okay so this is rani nickel means why this hydrogen is there in the rani nickel because this rani nickel is prepared from a nickel aluminium alloy 1 is to 1 reacting with NaOH and Na aluminium reacts with NaOH to produce hydrogen plus sodium aluminate and this hydrogen is abstra, ab, absorbed by this nickel okay that that is the reason why this nickel hydra uh, why this nickel hydride actually any nickel we are writing as nickel hydride okay so what it does this uh, rani nickel reduces the carbon means first this is uh, reduces not the carbon actually the thioacetal derivative of the carbon what is that that means in the first stage it will be converted into sr or sr whether it is depending on the reagent okay if it is simple it is then it is it side with them whatever so after that in presence of nickel this will break and what will be the fate of nickel nickel's fate will be nickel sulfide this is not catalyst to put in mind this is a stoichiometric reaction nickel sulfide and this hydrogen will be transferred at this position fine so this is the explanation of the first problem so i guess you have understood that why not a not b but it will be c because of the milder condition because this molecule contains acid sensitive part base sensitive part that's why this mo these molecules reduction means reduction of the carbonyl group could not be achieved using the clemenson or uh, ulf krishna only mozinko is applicable here similar similarly if you do the uh, clemenson and ulf krishna there is a problem because this is a alpha beta alkyl sio rated carbon okay so if you do this clemenson and ulf krishna there is a chance that this may get that and another unique point of this that this methyl angular methyl group and i remind you that the strategy to introduce angular methyl group is one of the studies trimethyl reaction please i have made a video regarding this i shall provide the link in the description box otherwise means not only that you can also see my name reaction lecture and find out this uh, part angular methyl group in introduction trimethyl reaction then you will have you will be able to learn this thing say very interesting chemistry okay so we cannot follow this clemenson or ulf krishna both because of this double bond but in this context we can follow the mozin mozin means means same same condition that is that is zinc chloride thiol zinc chloride thiol sorry in previous session i want to mention one thing i forgot to mention that is the anhydrous anhydrous na2so4 actually during the acetal thioacetal formation one molecule of water will be produced that will be abstracted by the sodium sulfate so i forgot to mention please don't uh, make this mistake so 
find so thioacetal means these will be converted into thioacetal sr sr so in presence of this mozinco means ranicyl nickel hydrogen this will be reduced but keep it in mind you may think that why this double bond it is it is depends on the priority of reactivity because if you have sulfur and double bond which will react more efficiently with this which will react more efficiently with this nickel obviously sulfur why first of all carbon sulfur bond is weak weak okay second thing this sulfur to nickel coordination is very good means this bond formation because of soft soft interaction h is hard soft acid base principle h is ab principle okay so that's why this will react because this is very prone to react soft soft interaction it will react with this but not the other one so that is the reason that it is unaffected although it is reacting fine okay so we got this and let's discuss the third problem this third problem is that there is a oh and we actually this is a tertiary alcohol so acid sensitive because if it leaves it will produce ultimately this tertiary carbocation which is highly stable so we can't use acid but in this case we can use basic medium that is wolf krishna that is possible even c mozinko also possible so don't always be biased that this method will be useful or that okay ranitical is a safe method so follow the mozinko thing don't follow that even let me give you another example if you you will be useful for example instead of this oh let's consider example number 4 so instead of oh if you have a br here then what method is useful so for this case both clemenson and ulf krishna useful because this br will not react with acid or base but if you use this mozinko there is a chance that this bond may break okay because this cdr bond very weak bond so this can be helpful. so it depends what type of group you are even for example you have a nitro nitro group you have a nitro group under the reaction condition it may reduce to amine and if you don't want that reduction it is better to use clemenson because uh, sorry uh, i'm sorry so you can use this wolf krishna also because clemenson zinc metal reduction so that may reduce the nitro but here also these are my personal opinion so exact example i am not giving uh, i can really from uh, fact thing i don't know so this thing and the exact thing you will get some better idea when i shall explain about the ranning that particular you will know which will react which will not so so do never always think that this will work this will not you have to use your own sixth sense to get the proper so let's discuss the other example okay so you can see this example this is the last example or you can say example number 5 this is actually removal of oxygen from this group okay so this means one deoxy sugar preparation one deoxy sugar preparation and obviously this goes through the mozinko reaction that's why we are explaining this up today so first step what is happening actually these things are oh group this is the strat convention in carbohydrate that they don't write an opposite hydrogen is other side is hydrogen the other side hydrogen is there okay so i am not try going to write here so see this is so this aldehyde you can say that carbohydrate always remain in cyclic true but if you pro this is an equilibrium so if you provide some reagent which reacts with the open chain form it will react and equilibrium will shift in this open chain form okay so concentrated hcl ethanol ethanol 
so this condition this condition actually acetal formation of this aldehyde okay this is a aldehyde means it's a aldose sugar so this aldehyde reacts with this condition and produce this is sorry this should not be oet this should be acet okay so this is a uh, thio acetal fine so this has a C, all the groups means these OH, these, these all remain intact. Fine. In the next step, what is done? Here it is used acetic anhydride pyridine. This is nothing but acetylation reagent. Selective acetylation, acetylation of alcohol. Okay, so here how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So excess amount of this acetic anhydride pyridine is used. And what is the role of pyridine? Pyridine acts as a base. Why? Because if you react this acetic anhydride and uh, acetic anhydride and alcohol, they will react definitely. So what will happen? This is an alcohol, this is a acetic anhydride. This is acetic anhydride. So we know because these oxygens lone pair is delocalized in this two uh, carbonyl like this, this. So similarly with this side. So these carbonyls are very electron deficient compared to acetic acid. So what happens? This alcohol attacks, it opens up and pushes this. So what is the product? Here the product is O, this oxygen having formal positive charge. And this is the carbon, this CH3, and this is CH3, O minus CH3. Now, question is that who will abstract this hydrogen? Because we need a base, and this is not a that much stronger base because this is resonance stabilized. Acetate is resonance stabilized, so another chemical form it has. So that means COOO minus double bond O CH3. Is it visible? Yeah, it is visible. So this is another canonical form. So consequently, what is thing that we need a base and for that purpose, pyridine is selected. Pyridine is acting as a base to abstract this proton such that reaction happens very easily. That's why acetic anhydride and pyridine. Okay. Second, so all these oxygens are acetylated and actually this is ester. Ester if I so protected. And after that, what happens? This region is this thio is treated with rainy nickel, means nickel hydrogen. This reduction it reduces and ultimately converts this. In CH was there to sorry, this is not OET, this is SET. This thioester, thioacetal is reduced to this CH. So, this is actually a one deoxy sugar preparation. What is the advantage? In next step, if you hydrolyze, then all the acetyl group will go. Sorry, it should have been AC. So, all the acetyl group should go and ultimately it will produce this. I have, uh, it should be acetyl. I have uh, written previously by mistake. This, this, this. Okay. So C, what is the transformation? This is removal of oxygen, so one deoxy sugar preparation. This is an another application where this Muzinko reaction is utilized. So this is the end of this discussion. So thank you everyone for listening my videos. So I suggest you please share, uh, uh, please share this video among your friends such that many people could be benefited from my effort. And finally, stay happy, stay blessed. See you in my next video. Till now, God bless you.